Hello, my name is Signature D, and today I'll be showing you how to make dreamy lo-fi that sounds like this. So, today I'll be showing you how to make dreamy smooth lo-fi that that sounded like what you just heard right so first let me tell you a quick bit of the story of how this song came to be this song is called alive in the night it's going to be released on may 18th it's part of a four track dreamy ep it's a collaborative ep i'm doing with my friend jay also known as huey lu shout out huey my friend jay i will link his socials and stuff in the description we met through discord on like discord servers surprisingly because i don't really use discord that much but yeah we ended up meeting through discord and we made one song and we were like oh my gosh we have to make an ep so this was one of the songs so let's get right into it so start off with the piano chords Let me remove all effects. So the piano I'm using here is just the free labs piano. Anybody could get it as long as you have a computer. And I see we do if you're watching this. So yeah, free, right? I have the reverb turned up a bit and that's it. Oh, and I have this tape effect here. It was free. I don't know if it still is free, but it was free. We like free stuff on it here. All right. So I'm just taking that off because I don't want the noise to come through while I'm recording. Anyway, yeah. So start with the piano chords and I don't have a I don't have a MIDI keyboard so I usually just take my pencil and I go like and then I be like you know I just do that and come up with some chords right now this is layered in the intro with this pad from Omnisphere that Huey had Right, so together. And in the chorus. Right, nice vibes, real nice, smooth vibes. Notice the tempo, 60 BPM. Chill vibes, dreamy. Trying to be like sleep tales, you know? Then here we also sent a piano, so there's two pianos going on on a pad I'll skip ahead Okay, so notice a common theme between all the videos I've made so far where I say, I say you have to layer, layer everything, layer it. It will sound a lot better and it will give you music more depth than just having one alone, okay? The guitars, Huey sent guitars, he plays guitar. I'm getting a guitar soon, mm -hmm. but yeah, um, Huey sent this. beautiful um nothing too crazy with the mixing simple low cut over there um some compression here 
very light, very light, barely triggering it just to catch those peaks. And then the strings. I know you don't typically hear a lot of strings in lo-fi, but I like it. So I will be doing it. <laughs> oh. Mm. I know you I know you want to cry. It's okay. I will hug you. I will hug you. Yeah. All right. All right. So let me show you how I did this, right? First of all, shout out Spitfire Audio. I got this on student discount because I am a student and it do be pricey though. It I did use my entire student paycheck of $250. Like original, the price is like 500, but I think it's worth it. I'll be in one. If you ever want to do any sort of cinematic orchestral scoring, you could just get this and you set for life. Um, so the violins. Notice you see these little things moving. Let me show my automation. So contact. So I, and I'm doing all of this with my mouse. Um, so I'm automating the expression and the dynamics right without it it would sound really trash it would sound fake but doing this oops sorry doing this allows me to give it more life and make it sound more real you would you might almost think it's a real orchestra right and then on top of that i'm doubling that bass voice Ah, move. I'm doubling the voicing with a, a double bass. Funky, funky to say. Um, but yeah, you see I'm automating everything. So together. Wow. And throughout this entire thing, there's automation, automation, automation. At this section here. I add a, another layer of strings just to push to the next section, which is just a tremolo, high tremolo, one note. That's it. That's all I did. And of course, you know, there's automation. You know there is. There can't not be. You want it to sound robotic? If you do, don't automate. Okay? Cool. I will come back to this cello later because you haven't heard it yet. But oh, it sounds like this. Sorry. It sounds like this. Fresh. Anyway. I layered it with a small vocal here in this transition. Very soft in the background, but subtle. It's me singing, by the way. All right. I wanted a little more highs. Reverb chain, just a Val, Val, Val Holler super massive. And I have it in this chain kind of running parallel. Look at my other YouTube video if you don't know what this is. Okay. I talked about it. Wow. I feel like a YouTuber talking about look at my other video. Anyway. <laughs> um, drums. All right. Very simple. Nothing crazy. Simple cut because... I'm not listening to lo-fi in the club. I really don't need anything below here with my kick. And it's the bass is already occupying down there. I don't I don't need it. Okay. Um let's see. What is this what is this automation doing? Ah, uh, so to this transition to thin it out to make it not go so abrupt. Um cutting the lows even more so the kick thins out. Hear it. You hear that? Yeah. 
So all these subtle things really help take the track to a more professional sound, you know? I have some symbols. I'm processing these symbols slightly differently. Just rolling off a tiny bit of the highs. Low cuts there. Right. Um, and there's the bass. Huey sent this bass. Actually, I think he started this piece. Like he sent these Omnisphere layers and then I added a whole bunch of different stuff. I think he, he did most of the drums as well. I can't remember. It's been a while. Anyway, and then there's the birds. You must have the birds. Right. And if you don't know where to find like ambient samples and stuff, there's tons of free packs. Cymatics makes a... Why am I shouting them out? They don't pay me. <laughs> anyway, Cymatics. I'm going to try and sponsor. Anyway, but yeah, Cymatics has this pack called Life where there's like so much different free atmosphere sounds. Let me show you real quick. Yeah, one and two, they have a whole bunch. Okay, so check those out, not sponsored. Anyway, this part, the cello, the beautiful part. Okay. So dry without any effects, let's hear it. Right. So it was the original sample was this. Right. So I took it, I changed the pitch, chopped it up a bunch to make a melodic line. I did it. This collaboration happened over Discord. So he was like, you know, telling me, giving different suggestions and stuff on how to cut and add and blah, 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 blah. And then we, we basically came up with this. That's how you make dreamy lo-fi. Well, at least that's how I make it. And the quick thing with the mix, I'm sending a little bit to this reverb here, this Pro R reverb. And let me see if I can show you. Yeah, it's just send a little bit, just a subtle room. And I'm cutting everything below 225 because I don't want to send that to the reverb. And yeah, that's basically it. So. Let me know if you enjoyed. Let me know if you like this. The EP will be coming out May 18th. I can show more breakdown videos, more anything specific you want to see. Just let me know in the comments, all right? So this was how to make dreamy lo-fi beats. Hey, you thought I forget? Do not forget to like and subscribe. Okay, don't forget it. Don't forget. Like and subscribe. All right. See ya. Bye.